Hello and welcome to our ninth episode in our how to series on Football Manager 22. I hope you're all having a great Jubilee weekend. God save the Queen. In this episode, I show you how to set up a new league and put it within the nation structure. We go through one I made earlier, but we do encounter some issues along the way, and which should give you some better insight, because that's what problems do, right? By the end of the video, we would successfully tested, verified and show you in-game footage of the changes we make. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content on Football Manager, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. So before we start, there are three videos pre going into this one. So how to install editor for Game Pass PC users in the above link. Second one being just a general view of the editor. Go check out the above link. And then the third one is the advanced rules. Because today we're going to be using the advanced rules to create a league within a league. But what this takes you through is just a few more options. Things like uh, substitution allowance, prize money, things like that. Again, check out the above link. What we're going to start off with is loading up. Because I'm going to load it up, I'm not going to create it from scratch. But what we will do is, I think I didn't save it after I verified. So I'm going to show you a bit of the verification at the end of this video. So load editor data, and here's my test load. Again, if you haven't gone to the advanced rules yet, what you need to do is you need to add nation rules, choose your options, and then once you've done that, you have to go back to this drop down box, go to convert to rules, and then you can uh, go to advanced rules. And then we're in this option here. But full, again, a full explanation is in uh, the video that I mentioned at the start. Let me take you through some more stuff I had to do to try and get this to work. So as you can see, there's our English Premier Division top, Division bottom, Championship, League One, League Two, for National League, so what did I do? I basically I had to go to database and go to competitions and add. So I added up my competition. Or well, what you could do, actually, I added it first, saying that, I've just remembered, I added it first. And then what I did is, to make life easier, is I literally, at the time, it was just called Premier Division. And I would click on there and I would go duplicate. And there you go. So just as a demonstration, there's my duplication, but we're going to remove that because uh, I, I don't want that in there. Then if we just go to two for top division that I made, here it is. So I think um, top to, uh, bottom division was 175 and this is 185 and everything else is the same. That's all you have to do in that, right? It's set up now. It's got ID number. It's ready because once you go into the advanced rules, you then First thing I did was make sure that it's added into the list. So there it is. Yeah. So you set that up pretty much. You want it exact same. It's literally copying. Again, you could do duplicate and then just change it. And then what you need to do within the English leagues is set this up. These are for division levels. So the top is zero, uh, bottom is one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Right, and then it doesn't go any further than that within this. We could actually go at and add one in. And as you saw from the list, that they had regional leagues, English regional premier divisions. So you could actually utilize that, maybe something like that, and go back to that list and add some strange reason. It always adds this book, Belgian Pro League. And you could search and add in. So if you get rid of that, you could just go regional prem. Again, I'm just trying to give you some ideas here. Select that, then add it within. And then you, if what process I'm going to show you now, you'd have to make sure that everything's all aligned, all for rules and so forth, for stages and competitions and all that. But again, we don't want that. So we're just going to get rid of it. So we've got to just make sure that is correct. So you have to add in your minimum teams, your maximum teams. And if I had to change the premier division bottoms to 10 and 10, and then you have to add them back uh, for competitions. So that's there. Oh, no regionals. Uh, top. That's a good point. Did I add him for the wrong one? Yes, I did. Oh, I would have just broken it anyway. If I was testing competitions or verifying rules, that would have broken it. 
uh, start date, no start of season, make sure that it's aligned. Okay, so that's the national setup. And now we need to set up rules within each division, believe it or not. But there won't be too much to do outside. So we go to the top division rules. And again, good thing is if you duplicate it, it's going to be pretty much the same as that league that you've just duplicated. But you will obviously need to change some bits around. Like make sure that the level is correct. Then you have to choose a stage of league, which is stage zero league. That should already be in if you've uh, duplicated it. And then you're choosing like kind of just stage rules now. So number of teams within that stage is 10. And then you have to have some sort of team rule, which get all teams from division and that is top division and that's it it's just something that we have to make sure that we've got in there league settings so you've got uh, a opportunity obviously top team are champions as well i just said goal difference goals for matches between matches league sorting rules points for win points for draw points to deduct for administration again this is all pretty standard you can choose your subs I've gone f uh, 5 from 12. Again, another viewer was asking that and we made a video. So again, if there's anything that you want to know, I am quite happy to make a video. Qualification rules. Our relegation places. Ah, okay, so two. So champion and two relegated. Okay. And obviously competition relegated down to is English Premier Division bottom. That stood out that it was needed. And then you go to promotion and uh, relegation. So this is where they get parachute money. So I've given 41 million, three years, number of years for new teams too. So you would choose your teams in the database. You would move your teams into, just like you would if you want to swap teams around, right? Or create a new team and put that team in a league. You would choose that in the database. And then you've got your initial TV money, final ranking money, TV money for matches. I think initial TV money, 80 million. Don't know if I changed that or not. I think I might have kept that bottom. I can't remember. Again, it's all just duplicated from the bottom league, so it should be fine. Okay, so that's the top division pretty much set up. But what you need to do is you need to go into bottom one, go into general and change the level. You need to change out every single division down. And I changed it down to level eight, where for regional leagues, all the divisional leagues, all, all like Sunday league football uh, leagues, uh, literally was level seven originally so i had to change them all to eight i think some went down to nine or they was already on eight but i've actually just had them all level and just like you know what if it brings up an error i will go back and have a look but it didn't and it works um so that's fine and then you need to set up obviously community shield make sure that the right team is going in yeah, who's going to be playing so within that stage rule Anything that's going to take a competition winner or something happening in the league at the moment is that it's going to take it. You need it still to go into the new season because obviously it's a new league. So you need it to take from the previous season the winner, which makes sense from that previous league. So I've had to add in that. That's until 2022. And then after that, we take it from our new competition, which will be Premier Division top. Okay, so that's Community Shield, and then uh, FA Cup didn't matter, Carabao Cup didn't matter. Just going to have a quick look. Oh yeah, so it does. So again, you just need to make sure that they are get picked up. Again, maybe FA Cup must have something, right? So again, there's stages, teams. Oh, here you go. Oh no, I've added it. I was just going to say, here you go. I've missed one. But how strange they wouldn't come up with an error if I have missed it. Okay, FA Cup. So you've got to do this on all competitions. We've done the Carabao Cup, FA Cup. Yeah, this is where I got stuck because it wasn't the test competition wasn't working because it was weird because it was kept on saying that I don't have enough teams in Papa John's Trophy to compete. And my brain was like, huh? I, was, I just couldn't get around it. I just couldn't. I thought it was because that because I moved the structure down below the top and because of the Papa John's Trophy is... Uh, league one league two teams right and then also what it does is that it includes for under under 23s of bottom well of the premiership because i've split them it was what it was doing it was missing top division teams and that's where it was but i was really really confused on it so i'll try and find where that was we might still get the same error guys might get the same error i'm gonna actually go off and do a test competition quickly teams 
I'm missing teams. Why is it? Why is it kind of like got rid of my teams? First thing is, I verified all this. So I'm a little bit. I don't think there's any Welsh top 10 teams, is there? No, here they all are. Okay. Now if we go to test competitions, see what I mean? It's it's just not by a minimum of 10 teams. Found only zero. We just added them. You can see that, right? Okay. So that was really, really weird. Didn't work. Added again. Didn't work. I was like, what's going on? Right. Went off. Reloaded it. Closed down the side. Reloaded it. And... Here we are, we can now test. <sighs> Sometimes you just need to restart. Just restart. It's fine now. 2025. 20, just to just see if this runs actually. Uh, for the reason why we've come here is just make sure that we haven't missed anything. English Premier Division top. Promoted and relegated teams do not match up for English Premier Division top. Two relegated and English Premier Division bottom. Zero promoted. Extra teams requested equals zero. That's a new error. Top division. Relegation places. Two. To Premier Division bottom. Right. Let's go to Premier Division bottom. I just feel like that we've done all this work prior to this. And it's... You go... You save it. Go to it. And it doesn't bloody work. Ah. Uh, uh, that's probably where there's no record found. So we do just need... So there you go. I guess that's the thing, right? Is that we need to make sure that they are all... We don't have that error. But why is it coming up with that error? Again, do you know? Does anyone know? Let me know. Because as I said, once it's all selected, save, uh, you test competitions, run through, you verify, save it, load up the game, run through fine. So why then you go to open up the editor again on that same editor save and it brings that no record error and then that messes it all up. Is there a way around that? Okay. Let's test competitions again. Great new. See what happens. See what new error comes up this time. Say so Carabao Cup. Wrong number of teams. So it's missing then. So somewhere along along that. Oh, I, I just can't believe this. So now we got to look for that error. Teams. Yeah, here we go. There it is. So I guess this is kind of explaining a little bit more. Because I didn't record any of it before of me setting this up. So for me to set it up, have that understanding of where I probably need to go. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Is there anything ranking? No, okay. So again, we just keep on going back. Great new test. Will it do it this time? No. Still hasn't found that night too. So there's something else again. Ah, there it might be. We've said this before. Try again. Ah, so this, this was where I went. Right, that's it. I've had enough. Right, okay, so 2016, 32. Right, there it is. So they have been added in here for the under 23 teams. It's just, again, no record. Crazy, absolutely crazy. So qualified teams, put them in for team pool as well. Record for them there. Two changes there. Great new test. That's the one which completely confused me. And I had to take a break. And that's why this video is so delayed. Right, we are in for second season now, as you can see on the date. Start of the third season. So it seems like it's running through now. So as we go through for competitions, so we've got international. So they ran through okay. So these are all for competitions. International competitions run through over those five seasons. They run fine. Europe, they all run fine. And England, five years, they all ran fine as well amazing so next step is not for final i did at the start of this video i did say to you that for verify bit will be at the end of the video but actually we want to jump into the game showing you the game is going to be the end of the video before then we're going to jump on how do i verify this now again look we've tested for competitions we know they're all fine they run nicely we now need to verify if you haven't saved it already we want to go save editor data as and then get rid of league and data updates and uh, write in your own i put in test okay now what this tells you is no division levels have been verified in these rules test for rules before saving to allow for use of these rules in the game so the game will not let you play this editor save until they are verified so how do we verify it Test competition first. So there's no point doing verify before. 
get rules, test rules, and then you want to test them all. Now we'll run through this really, really fast. So just a note, if you look in your top right hand corner of your screen, where it was saying wasn't verified, it's now kind of gives you an indication of where you're at. So it says test five out of seven division levels verified. So we've got through five verified now, we've got two more to go it's verified. There we go. Oh, so the second time we've had to bloody fix this editor save. But as I said, once you do it once, you kind of know where you need to look and do it. So this is why I want to do a video just to kind of give you an idea. Should we go check it in game? I think we should. Remember, save it. And this time you shouldn't get that error. There you go. Editor data saved. Right. We go start a new game. Go to career database 22.4. That's where we had ours on. Because if you choose other ones, as you can see, test won't let you advance setup. Remove, remove, remove. Hello. And what is it in Premier Division top only? Division bottom two. Is to, you know, League two and above. And there's your top 10 teams. Arsenal, Chelsea, Everton, Leicester, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Newcastle, Tottenham and West Ham. So let's go, I don't know, Chelsea. Next, all I literally want to do in this is go to my fixture list. And this is it, wow. So literally I'm playing West Ham, Man United, Everton, Arsenal, Newcastle, Leicester. In one month you're playing Man City, Liverpool, Tottenham, West Ham. Let's go to the division have a look at this as i said this is like for english top division to get into europe you're fighting for europe to win for league champions league spots european spots if you come eighth you've just survived relegation and then ninth or tenth you go down so there's no title holders in this league it's new league man city won this last time because that's where the history is is within the division bottom this league's quite interesting so two go up three go down have you done anything crazy on editor or now that you know how to kind of create a new division within a nation, what will you be doing? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be very interested to see what other people are doing. And also let me know if this video has helped you. I'm always looking to try and help other FMers because I love the game. And if I can help anyone else enjoy it as much as I enjoy it, then that's a win. Thank you very much for watching my video. Every view is appreciated. I hope I catch you on for the next one. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.